This quilt is called Isle of Flamingos. It's one of a series of tropical landscapes featuring birds. The bird in this one is the flamingo, one of our favorites. By placing these larger birds right here in the foreground and having them overlap the next smaller bird, it adds depth and dimension to the piece. These birds here in the farther background have no detail at all to them, so that also helps to build the depth within the piece. This is the second in our series of bird landscape quilts. This one features the roseate spoonbill, a very, very colorful and popular bird in Florida. We've added a few dimensional touches to this quilt. There's some hand embroidery on the flowers here and a little bit of beading and we've added some dimensional buttons as well. And the piece actually comes out of the border here and brings the picture right into the foreground, which helps to create depth and dimension. This is the third in our bird series. This one is the snowy egret. We have a mother sitting on her nest of some babies here in the treetop. We've used a very muted background to give the appearance of a leafy sky behind her and we've used Angelina fiber on the bird with some beading to give dimension to her feathers and also to the little baby birds here. The leaves on this piece are only stitched down the middle, top and bottom both to add more dimension and depth as well. This piece the flamboyant tree, also known as the Royal Poinciana, is the largest of our landscape quilts. It features dimensional flowers all across the canopy of the tree. We have a special technique that we show you in the pattern with photographic illustrations to walk you through the steps. The newest in our series of landscape quilts is called Sea Great Beach. This is a small dimensional applique piece and we have developed several new techniques for creating the dimensional looks that are shown within this quilt. The palm tree leaves and the sea grape leaf both are stitched only down the centers and then after they're all stitched you go back and rumple up the edges with your fingertips to give it a dimensional look. We've also added extensive beading down here for the sea grape clusters and over here we have a special little secret technique that we've developed to make our sea foam, which was then embellished with beads and buttons. Continuing with our bird theme, this quilt is called Water Birds, and the technique used on this one is a silhouette technique, so there's actually only three fabrics involved in the making of this quilt. All of the silhouette pieces are cut out of a black as well as this border strip around here. The background can be varied to look like whatever type of sky you prefer, night or day. And then we've added a colorful border around the outside. This is a very quick and simple project. 